I went to see, I'm a big Jake Gyllenhaal fan, and I went to see his last movie, Nightcrawler, and I went by myself on a Friday night, a little alone time, me and Jake, and I just was in my own world, and I got real stoned, and thought about it for a while, how stoned I was, and then I walked up to the ticket window, I ducked down into the glass, the ticket booth, and I was like, one for Gyllenhaal, please. <laughs> and I froze. Cause you know when you smoke pot and you gotta plan out what you're gonna say? I gotta plan out what I'm gonna say. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, as soon as this guy's done talking, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this right here. I got some shit for this conversation. Oh fuck, she started talking. Who the fuck is this? Okay. And then all of a sudden it's your turn to talk and a pile of garbage comes out of your face. Well, the other side of that is not planning out what you're gonna say and then asking for a ticket to Jake Gyllenhaal in front of 30 couples. It bounced off the glass. The Culver City, California chapter of Match.com heard me ask for a ticket to Jake Gyllenhaal. I just was lost on the board. I, my stoned eyeball, I couldn't find titles. I was lost. All I could see was movie times. All I could see was times. I was like, it's 1.30, 4.30, 5.30, 7.30, 10.30. Fuck it. I want to go see the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. Just check the sheet. You got a sheet right there. It's... Just read the synopsis, whatever this, it said uh, on the thing. Just read the sheet. Can you read this? I need one ticket for one grown man to the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal in it. He didn't care. He didn't care. He works at Register. He wasn't going to save me. He just looked at me like, sir, did you just ask for a ticket to another adult male? Like he was a ride at Six Flags? Is that what you did?